Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Amirin TV, weekly Islamic finance news update. I'm Azizia Arliva. And let's look at the top stories of this week. Thomson Reuters and Ideal Ratings launch Islamic indexes in Kuala Lumpur. Islamic finance is looking at Thailand infrastructure funding. Islamic Development Bank approves 716.7 million US dollars funding for new projects. Thomson Reuters and LDL Ratings Islamic Indexes were successfully launched in Kuala Lumpur. It is the first Islamic benchmark to offer research-based, Sharia screening based on a globally accepted Islamic standard to investors, money managers and analysis across a range of Islamic instruments, resulting in the most transparent Islamic guideline for investors around the world. The new family of indexes includes compliant companies in over 60 countries and covers the global equity markets in nine regions, including GCC and MENA, in addition to individual countries, sectors and includes global technology, healthcare and energy. All of the indexes comply with the relevant provision of the Accounting and Auditing Organization for Islamic Finance Institutions IOFI. The Islamic finance industry is interested in tipping Middle Eastern oil money to help fund Thailand infrastructure projects. This is believed could help it gain a foothold in a market with only a small Muslim population. The fledging Islamic finance industry was propelled into the global spotlight in the aftermath of the financial crisis and it was seen as more ethical, less leveraged way of banking. United Arab Emirates may not issue its first sovereign federal bond this year and may launch one by the end of 2012, if necessary, after the public debt law was signed this summer. 1.6 billion US dollars worth of infrastructure spending pledged for northern members of the United Arab Emirates Federation was planned over three years and would be financed from local and federal sources. A newsletter quoted the minister saying that his ministry was not worried about the fluctuating oil prices witnessed in the market recently. He pointed out that recent oil price increase were not directly affecting costs and would only be reflected over time, and inflation in the UAE, therefore, was not expected to exceed 2% in 2011. The Board of Directors of the Islamic Development Bank Group IDB, has approved new finances worth 716.7 million US dollars for new development projects in member countries. Islamic Development Bank President Ahmed Muhammad Ali said the meeting approved two projects worth 198 million US dollars in Bangladesh a 191 million US dollars water project in Bahrain, a 95 million US dollars electricity project in Senegal, and a 66 million US dollars electricity project in Syria. They have also agreed to give 75 million US dollars to support Islamic Bank in Turkey. The board also approved finances for education and training projects for Muslim communities in Brazil, Burundi, China, Ethiopia, India, and Slovenia. That's all for this week's Islamic Finance News Update. I'm Azizia Arlaeva. Have a great week ahead and Assalamu Alaikum.